Hi, welcome back to our craft for our story of tales and tales. So we were reading before if I had a tail and we saw some Spanish words of the animals and how they are called. <clears throat> so today we're going to be making a mask of a koala. So my question to you is, does koalas have tails? Because that was something that I thought of. And so I want you to watch something and share my screen with you. Hola, bienvenidos otra vez a nuestra manualidad. El día de hoy estuvimos leyendo la historia si tuviera una cola y vamos a hacer un, una máscara de koala. Pero antes de eso, yo me pregunté, ¿los koalas tienen cola? Así que voy a compartir con ustedes una historia y voy a, a enseñarles mi pantalla. Long ago, Koala and Tree Kangaroo were good friends. Back then, Koala had a long furry tail. This is the story of how Koala came to have a stumpy tail. One year, there was no rain. All the streams dried up. Water could not be found anywhere. Even the leaves on the trees are dying, Koala said to Tree Kangaroo. We will die too if it does not rain soon. I have an idea, said Tree Kangaroo. When I was little, it was a very dry season. To find water, my mother dug a hole in a dry stream bed. She dug and dug for hours. At last, water began to fill the bottom of the hole. There wasn't a lot of water. But there was enough for both of us to have a good drink. Koala cried, let's try one. I can't wait to taste the cool water. Koala and tree kangaroo went to a stream bed. It was as dry as the desert. Koala whined, I'm tired and thirsty. You start digging while I rest in this tree. As soon as I get my strength back, I'll dig while you rest. Tree Kangaroo began to dig. It was hard work, but the thought of the cool water kept him going. When Tree Kangaroo took a break and looked up, Koala was sound asleep. Tree Kangaroo thought, when Koala wakes up, he'll be well rested. Then he can take his turn. So Tree Kangaroo kept on digging. When Koala woke up, Tree Kangaroo called out, Now it's your turn. You must do your part. Koala began to climb down from the tree. But then he cried, Ouch, I just got a thorn in my foot. You keep digging while I get it out. So Tree Kangaroo kept on digging. The hole got deeper and deeper, but still there was no water. Koala, yelled Tree Kangaroo. I am worn out. I need a break. Again, Koala began to climb down, but this time he called out. I'm dizzy from lack of water. I must rest a little longer. Tree Kangaroo was getting mad, but he kept on digging. At last, some water appeared. Koala, it worked, he shouted. Water is slowly filling the hole. Soon, there will be enough for both of us. When Koala heard this, he jumped out and rushed to the hole. He pushed Tree Kangaroo out of his way. Koala stuck his head into the water and began to gulp it down. 
tree kangaroo was furious. He called out, save some for me. But Koala kept on drinking. And drinking. And, and drinking. drinking. Three kangaroo grabbed Koala's tail to pull him out of the hole. He yanked, yanked. At last, Koala's tail broke off. To this day, Koala's tail is short and stumpy. And because Koala was lazy and selfish, he, he also lost a good friend. What do you think about that story? Do you think Koala was a nice friend? No, right? ¿Ustedes creen que Koala era un buen amigo con, con el canguro? No, ¿verdad que no? That was not nice of Koala, so that's why he doesn't have a tail. So now to our um, craft. We're going to be making these koala masks. And the library will provide you with your template of the koala face. La biblioteca va a darles la, la, los materiales para su manualidad. Les va a dar la, la máscara del koala. Then we have the wooden stick. Tienen el palito de madera. And also you get to work with cotton, cotton balls. Van a trabajar con pelotitas de algodón. And you will get your nose and your eyes. Do you know how to say nose and eyes in Spanish? Very good. La nariz y los ojos. Van a recibir la nariz y los ojos de la cara del koala. And um, at home, you will need to have some. Do you remember the name in Spanish for glue? ¿Cómo se dice? Goma, pegamento, pega. So you will have, you only need glue at home. You, you will use your mask. You will put some glue on to put the ears. And then you will get your ears, your eyes, and your nose. And the sticker goes behind so you can put your mask on. Maybe if you ask a parent or an adult to open up the little eyes so you can see through, that would be also helpful. En sus casas van a echar la goma para ponerles las orejas, los ojos y la nariz. Y luego en la parte de atrás pegan el palito y tienen su máscara. Si un adulto les puede ayudar a abrirle los ojitos para que ustedes puedan ver a través de la máscara. So, the good thing about working with these materials is that you can touch texture and you can see the differences between if it's smooth, if it's soft, and you will get your uh, skills of fine motor skills. Trabajar con esta manualidad es que van a trabajar con la motricidad fina. Van a sentir los materiales si son suaves, si son duros, si todas las diferencias que hay. Así que espero que les guste. Solo van a ver suficientes para quien venga primero. These are while supplies last. Wait for our next story and craft and I hope that you enjoy. You can call us 561-965-2204 if there, we still have anything available. Nos pueden llamar al número 561-965-2204 si todavía tenemos disponibles manualidades, ¿ok? 
Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hasta pronto. Adiós.